it's hard to see it in this video. I did. Well, hi folks. Uh, all of the uh, rafters are pre-cut before we put them up there. And so um, in order to have pre-cut rafters, I mean, you have to know what your angles are and things like that. This is a 16 by 24 um, shed. So that means the distance from the outer edge of the plate to the outer edge of the plate from front to back is exactly 16 if you run horizontally and level. However, when you do what we did, which is build a little extra height on the front with that clear story wall, then that changes the length of the rafter, becomes a little bit longer. And in fact, measuring it after we put it up, we came up with a length of 16 feet and one third inch which actually agrees with Pythagorean theorem if you're familiar with that anyway we used Pythagorean theorem to verify it and then we uh, actually measured it and we're pretty close we're gonna go ahead and just to make it easier on ourselves we have figured the length of these rafters at 16 and 3 8 inches and so what we did was uh, using a speed square and a template we made some marks on the rafters and have cut them. We'll show you how we do it. Echip is handling this because this is kind of above my pay grade. <laughs> he can describe it better than I can. So, so this is the tail end of the rafter. This is for the back of the house. And um, we want the tail the, the rafter tail to be 11 inches and then we're going to add uh, about a uh, another inch and a half to it when we add our faux fascia on there and then another inch probably um, so this will wind up being you know about 13 inches deep when it's all said and done but the rafter part where it leaves the back of the of the plate and and hangs over the building uh, is 11 inches right here and so we've measured this distance 11 inches the next thing we do is from there we all want to make sure that we are square so we'll dry, draw a 90 degree angle then we know uh, based upon the measurements we did and the Pythagorean theorem that this rise and run on the roof is about uh, one and a third feet for every 12 feet run horizontally. We just rounded it to one and a half. And then we, using the speed square, it makes it easy to find the angles that we need to cut for the notches where it goes over uh, the wall plate on the structure. So you simply, now that you've got a 90 degree angle, you simply take your speed square, put it alongside that 90 degree, and then using this little pivot point right here, you turn it slightly until about one and a half on this scale shows up on the edge of the board over here. And then you strike your line, okay? And as you can see, that roughly agrees with what we have. So what we did was using that um, principle, we have angled all of our uh, rafters front and back so that they appear mostly vertical when they're on the building. And then we've notched these out, or we're notching these out at an angle uh, equal to the one and a half uh, over 12 pitch. And we'll cut these out, put them up. Uh, the other thing we did was to make things a little faster and easier. We got some foam board and we pre we prefigured all of this. And so we've already got our angled cuts for the front and back. We've got our back um, plate. We've got our front plate. And so it makes it easy. Just do a whole bunch of these and get it over with. Flies are in my face. All right, let's do this.
outside is kind of difficult. It's really high and I'm not really scared to be high up there. I don't have a problem with that, but that is a heavy board. And what scares me is dropping it or falling. I guess, I guess that's being afraid of heights, but you know, I could probably sit on the edge of that ledge and be okay and not worry about it. But I think he gets frustrated with me because I'm not as strong and I'm not sure-footed but he was on roofs for 20 years up and down and he's really good at it but anyway it's scary <laughs>see how good each chip is at this wrong size hole how does it go inside that is inside i thought it went up inside no this is it right here what yeah then what is that hole what did we make those boxes with the lip in it for boxes with a lip that lip that hole. I thought that oops. I thought that flangey thing went inside that lip. What lip? That lip in the box above the top. No, it gets mounted to the outside here. Then you cover this with uh, window seal and molding. Oh. Alright, so what do you do? Check it for level and nail it in. That's level. Don't let go yet. Did you check it again? I'm about to.
<laughs> What's it sitting on? What? Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. Up just a hair on there? Down just a hair. Okay. Up just a hair on the other side. Oh, I guess I don't have to hold this now, huh? Yes, you do. Oh, I do? There's only one nail holding it. Oh. Did you get it level the way you wanted? Yep. Go now. How many nails do you use? Oh, I don't know, just a few. It doesn't take many. I'm so excited. We have a window with a screen. And, uh, look at this messy house. Shouse. Shouse. I gotta get in the habit of calling it shouse instead of house. You coined the term. <clears throat> It's so beautiful. Look, each is putting down our bathroom floor. Awesome. Take a bath. It's our bathtub. <laughs> we lost a black sheet. Oh, fortunately, only one. Has come now off. we're going to get up there and repair it or put a new one on. But that's the plan. Then we have to put fascia. Uh, not, uh, yeah, I don't know. Some kind of pretty stuff up. 